It's got to be a mixed blessing, don't you think, to be the Hamas new leader? It's like, congratulations, run. <laughs> hey, uh, how would you like to be the new Hamas leader? I couldn't, thank you, no. There's other people that have been around. What about Hamid? No, oh, you are too generous, my friend. Uh, you are the gangster, Emilio Wangster. They, you know. <laughs> what else happened? They bombed a Sheridan yesterday in Baghdad, and they have a picture of this suspect that bombed that Sheridan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Paris Hilton joke with no sex. No, I'm, I'm the Mac. Now listen to me. Iraq is a dangerous place to stay at a hotel. I was over there. First of all, the Motel 6 motto is, we'll leave the light out for you. <laughs> then, the, it's the only place I make you get a credit card for incidentals of your arms and legs. I didn't appreciate that one. I valeted my car, then I see it on the 6 o'clock news, speeding into an army barricade. You know, I'd like to be a valet at that hotel. Every time they, some, you have to start somebody's car, they hit the deck. The valets have gray hair at 17, for crying out loud. I had my wake-up call, came out of a loudspeaker on top of a mosque. I'm serious. Nothing? All right. The mint. Oh, believe me, I'm not done. The mint on my pillow is ticking. All right. Look. Oh, then everybody steals the towels because they need something to wear to jihad that night. I'm telling you. This Okay, before last week's NCAA tournament, sports columnist Bob Ryan, who's white, announced on ESPN that Vanderbilt would lose because they had too many white guys on the team. Ryan said Vanderbilt won't win because they have too many white guys. The code, ethics, and culture of basketball, in case the game is new to anybody, is a black man's game and a white man is privileged to be allowed to step on the court. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, huh? What? I love Bob Ryan. You know I'm from Boston. I love old school races. Bob, Bob Ryan. <laughs> he tells the truth. Look at, that, look at that goofy white boy. You shouldn't have lied. Look at it. First of all, let's be quite honest. It's white people are still allowed to play, but foreign white people, regular good American white people, y'all are finishing every single sport I can think of. So adopt foreigners as your saviors and uh, white skin what about or whatever. Hockey? Doesn't hockey have a lot of white We're, people? Well, yeah, but it's true. The brothers are moving in on that. God knows how they have The leading scorer was like... He's right beating each other with fish. And all the NBA white guys are all Serbians and stuff, you know? Yeah. But, you know, Bob Ryan, it's like... Uh, you guys say a uh, Boston guy. He's Irish. You know what I mean? He's probably prone to have a few drinks, as you people might have. <laughs> as your <laughs> ilk, my guy just like yapping away, and he's telling the truth. That's what I do. Well, the it's problem, the truth, racist, taste, but no, he has a problem. It's not racist. What? Ah, it's not racist. Joke. The problem is that... Rush Limbaugh said basically the same thing as about Donovan McNabb, and he had to get booed and apologize. Right. It is a racist thing to say. It's like saying all this. Because, because, because you know, black people, <laughs> black people are never the ones to cause the controversy behind these, st these statements. We don't care because we know it's true. It's, Hang on a second. No, wait. It's, it's, a, it's a racist thing to say. It's like saying that Hollywood is run only by Jews and, and gay people. It's a truthful thing to say. <laughs> Let me tell you <laughs> something. It's quite clean. Oh, Spike Lee, who said Larry Bird was overrated the other day? Yeah, yeah, first of all, let me say one thing about Spike oh, Lee. Don't out me. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm saying this about Spike Lee. So you're telling me, Spike, that you, there's actually a case of somebody because of their race that was overrated their whole career? Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, girl, six was the only bad thing he did. Everything else was good. Why would you cut out my <laughs> brilliant... Wait a minute. Go ahead. You got to look at who said this. It's Bob Ryan. He made this big statement, and then it turns out he made the wrong prediction. I mean, you know, the, the team, yeah, Vanderbilt turned around and won. Nobody's listening to him because he can't even get the game right. Let me tell you something. That guy's a shit. Anybody, when it goes two seconds up in that game, the only time you want a white guy touching that ball, if he's on the foul line, <laughs> <laughs> or his feet are set behind a three-point arc. That's it. <laughs> or the ref. Or the ref. First of all, what's more nerve-wracking when an Italian guy goes, let me tell you something. <laughs> well, right, sorry, I'm no let's talk about this black high school student in Arizona who was arrested for wearing his baseball cap sideways. Bad. He refused to turn it to the front. Is that him? Oh, no, that's not that. That's the picture. That's the picture that my liberal state picks. So he looks like the most sympathetic. Am I really imagining it, everybody? Staff. I'm talking to the staff. Am I imagining it? 
What is that supposed to be? An Arizona high school? So go ahead. You have a problem with this? <laughs> Who does it? Look, first what? of all, it's disrespectful. Please. Here's how sad. <laughs> here's how sad white people. I really, <laughs> I hate to continuously bring up this white subject matter. Then why do you? Why? How can you not? Because white it. people are continu they're constantly silly. <laughs> <laughs> White people are not. White people are not. They gave up. They gave up trying to arrest black people. Now they're trying to arrest black culture. They're trying to arrest kids for being niggery, not not being niggers. They're trying to arrest the culture because it's infecting white kids. Now let me ask you something. But it's too late, isn't it, white children? Let me ask you something. Of course it is, but let me ask you something. If your culture has. Baseball hats, that's part of your culture. Why is that what about our culture? You, stu you said it was. You said it was. You said it was. You said it was. Don't say why is that our culture. First you just all, said it was. First of all, did first you see all, how I feel better right that home. kid looked than Colin looked? This, this is why. <laughs> I'm an old man. Yes. Wait, Don't compare me with a seven year old kid. <laughs> I'm finished. What? Look at me. You're gonna believe me. That's a, this is a racial thing. Now you're gonna attack me for being an old, miserable <laughs> Irishman. Right. I gotta go. Why on earth is turning your cap sideways disrespectful when there are girls in high schools walking around with advertising on their asses? That is no. But here's the problem. They made the white kids that they let keep their hats on sideways. I should have. Sure they should have made do. them take their sure. big pointy white like hats off. No, no, it was no. like, look at white kids. Yeah. Look what so, we're gonna do with you and uh, and we're gonna take them yeah. away. Is that what it was? How can you say? It was to stop your kids from being black. Let me it's say too late, though. If that's true. How can what you say white people true, are silly when that's you true, think... If that's true, why is it that all the real serious black schools run by black principals and black teachers, the first thing to do is make the kids take their hats off? I show respect. What, do they want the kids to be what, but white culture? No, because they I know, know it's I've never heard this. Prove it. Show it. You, I didn't it's get that in the memo. It's too stupid. I, it, I'm not being stupid. I'm not being dumb. Hip hop is what goes on. I'll tell you what it is. Hip hop is hip hop is the blob. Hip hop is out of control, and you're trying to stop it now. It's too effing late. It's too late. <laughs> It's too late. He, he's a big silly brown man saying white people are silly. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. He doesn't mean silly. He means corny. I'm, a, I, 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 I'm an expert in white people. I hate to say it. I'm, I know white people. You're not I, an I know expert white in white people. I grew up in Boston. I know. That's why I know Bob Ryan. You grew up in Boston. I went to a black school. I'm not an expert in black people. What's your point? <laughs> what you just uh, said? Why not? <laughs> What? Did you do a bit on his show? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. No, I was not Oh no. No, I was just gonna say I have a thing about how rappers stole everything from Italians, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh yeah. No <laughs> set? No go? No go. Uh, we'll be right back. Now there's statistical proof that women talk twice as much as men. <laughs> a new study shows that women introduce seven general conversation themes while men discuss only three, sports, money, and sex. That's true. Lynn? I don't think it's true that men only talk about sports, money, and sex. I think men talk about other things. I just think that they don't talk at length about other things. And don't say anything yet, you big dummy. I think what happens is that men... You know, if a man, a guy asks a guy, did you have sex with that girl? They're, yeah, I had sex, let's go get pizza. It's over. With girls, did you have sex with that guy? Yes, we went out She's to dinner. She's talking too much now. Shut That's up. That's what I'm saying. We're all, all the men are already trying to listen to that. that. If, you're if we female, didn't stop playing, you would have stopped talking about your shoes and your earrings. Just shut up. We don't care. Patrice, you've been walking around this whole place with a bag of shoes. Uh -huh. One pair of shoes, Goofy. Here's the thing. Men talk about money, sports, and sex. Then we listen to the stuff that we think is going to get some <laughs> That's what we do. All right. Now, you two guys are married. I want to hear your opinions. Uh, you know what? I think men just keep quiet because... Women remember everything. So the less we say, the better we are. You have nothing to good say. Point. That's why you're quiet. Rich, a good friend of mine told me that uh, women say 25,000 words a day, and men say 14,000 words a day. And the reason is because men know those other 11,000 words we're going to say back are going to get us in big trouble. <laughs> so basically, There's only so many ways you can say you're sorry, really. Look at this. These two married cowards. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? You're going to die lonely. Yeah, you're yeah. going I don't care, but I'm gonna die with a piece.
peaceful soul. I love you. You will never have a peaceful soul. You see his soul. white guy down the pond dressed like a magician. <laughs> you know what? I can't believe this. We're moving on. We're moving he's on. He's not a magician. He's Look. got a beard. <laughs> he's an Amish magician. Come on. on. Monday, on Monday, we asked you to vote for the singular wireless viewers' choice campaign issue. Hey. <laughs> Get all the commercials for the titty bars. <laughs> and you wanted to hear it discussed on today's show. You guys chose the gay marriage theme. So in a new twist over the battle of gay marriages today, Oregon, one county in Oregon said that they banned all marriages, gay or straight, until the state straightens it out. Do you That's think where Patrice is, is going to go with his girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> so they didn't, she says, I want to get married. We can't. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what could you say besides good? I mean, tell the yeah. truth. Yeah, I mean, you got to ban all men. Why not go someplace where you, they just, they can't, you can tell your girl, oh, I can't. As opposed to you two. I just said You're that thing, me, man. man. She did. See how we don't listen to you? So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, laugh yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> Let's keep talking to me. So go ahead. But you know what? I think it's a big homosexual conspiracy because I think gay people are probably like, great, the big breeder wheel has stopped. Like, then they can't get married anyway, so they would like it that the, the right. whole thing is banned. So what do you think? It's just some liberal Oregon county, like crazy ass county with, you know, I do. I think it's stupid. Well, great. No one can have pottery shops and lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, not lesbians, <laughs> definitely not lesbians, because nobody has a problem with lesbians. It's only gay men that people have a problem with. But on the other hand, I, go ahead. The, the problem is that religious leaders do not want them getting married because they don't want homosexual sex. Let them get married. They will never have sex again. Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> I think me. <laughs> Plus you could just Richard's done them. homework to be here. He's like ready. Yeah. Well, the bottom line is this. <laughs> is the, uh, I think only the lesbians want to get married. Most gay guys I know, they're like, nah, we don't get married. It's for the lesbians. Because so lesbians you gotta have somebody take care of you when you get sick. Oh, what? Okay. You gotta punish somebody after you get oh, fat. They gotta like you. Why do you think women want to get married? Not all women want to get married. Oh, come on, man. What do you say, Dad? Women want to get Wait married for that ultimate oh. security, so y'all can yes. be married to you with yes. security. Because you're insecure. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, Women are insecure. I just came up with it. I just got Women are insecure. We you want to go from booty? You want to go from booty? Call? It's all labels. You make it. You want to go from booty call to girlfriend, you know, you know to girlfriend to fiance, from what? fiance you know to marriage. You're not finished. You know why I want to be married? Because every time I see his miserable face when he strikes out every time here, I know at least I'm going to go home and get an excuse why I can't get it. <laughs> but I'm going to get very close. Have you ever seen such a sad, big Italian hitman? You should get divorced right now, Rich. Stop this, man. Oh, yeah. Marriage did that to this guy. Mandrinos, no. What about your marriage? Is it good? I think, marriage, I think marriage, marriage is a beautiful marriage. thing when you have someone you could just come home to and share all these wonderful things, and, and then I get to talk, so it's a good day. <laughs> You're scared of Leanne, aren't you? Oh, she'll beat my ass. <laughs> Well, he is. He is. Shake like a leaf. He is. Oh, but have you seen the whip? That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Nice yeah, his wife, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I mean, he's. She's be, also yeah. smart and funny. Who you cares? <laughs> I don't care. I'm trying to broaden your we'll horizons, right you big dummy. <laughs> so what is everybody gonna know? Let's go down the list. Jim. I think there was a little sexual liaison over the Friday later happening. Okay. Rich. I say he's been secretly giving Patrice O'Neill bags and bags of food for free. <laughs> she. A he. And oh. she's going to rat him out. Lynn. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe she. he's wearing like girls' underwear and she's had an affair with him or something. Okay. Patrice. I he's. I don't know. He's. I, I, I get it. it he's. Her father. He is he is uh -huh. her father and is not paying oh, child support her for baby daddy? her. That is it, she's either her right. Baby. He's either her baby's daddy. <laughs> baby daddy, or, it's baby daddy. Or baby daddy. He's either her baby daddy or You're he bad is man. he is her father. Who's not taking and he fires her all the time, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> That's a sitcom. You All right, ready? I know that was like a soap opera. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Everybody gonna know. You the one who been traded fast for Okay. You are dismissed. That's right. This man been 
penetrating prize for you know it and I know it. You may leave. I said I ain't leaving. This shit ain't over. You been trading fries for b and it ain't right. It ain't right. Thank you. It ain't over. I guess I was right. That is I funny. guess you guys are kind of right. But who is gonna f somebody for fries? <laughs> Other than the trade. <laughs> We do have a panel that's, we're all capable of polishing off a good meal on this panel. Let's quit kidding ourselves. What do you think about that? That was in North Carolina. Fries for I mean. Fries. I don't know. You'd have to ask her. That is a wonderful exchange rate. What's that? That's a great exchange rate. It really is. But I wonder what it means. Bags of fresh frozen fries. It is kind of a uh, conundrum. No, that's cooked. Those I just are cooked fries. One no one's going to give for frozen fries. fries. Yeah. Well, a big couple of bags, I'm thinking. No, I, I think it's, it's hot fries for hot <laughs> That's the way it well, works. Well, you know, they make... I don't know. French fries. Uh, now it would be bad. Like, you get some old fries, yeah. some old greasy fries. Oh, I never thought about that. I don't that. know how we're going to air this. Yeah, yeah, you can word... You can... You can... You can... You can... Philosophers throughout the ages have pondered how many white people is too many white people. Besides basketball, where else is it a disadvantage to be to have too many whites? Lynn. Uh, Philosophers? Where? Um, you know, it's a disadvantage to have too many white people in church. Have you been to white people church? Well, I have, and it's just boring. Black people church is much better. Face it, without black people church, there would be no American Idol. And why <laughs> stop there? <laughs> Why stop there? I mean, all dark people have cooler churches, like those wacky Buddhists, you know, rubbing Buddha's belly, and that's fun. Now, you don't get anything like that at my church. No Fantasia singing, no Buddha rubbing, just to wait for some wine and go home. Basically, a lot of kneeling with no happy ending. Uh, obviously, you're not a Catholic. Jim! It's a disadvantage to have a lot of white people in the U.S. Senate. Strom Thurmond Senator Stennis clogged up the Senate floor until they were in their 80s and 90s because white people live too damn long. <laughs> With no fear of death, there's no incentive to get anything done. Now, minorities don't live as long. You put 45 African Americans, 53 Hispanics, and one Filipino guy in the Senate, and they'd get stuff done in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, I say it's a disadvantage to have too many white people at airport security. <laughs> because of the fear of being labeled racist, we will have to let everybody go. <laughs> See that guy with the ticking turban? Sorry, I don't want to be insensitive to his culture. <laughs> Isn't that Allen Iverson's crew? <laughs> 200 years of oppression. <laughs> it would be very damaging to their psyche to search them for weapons. <laughs> what about the guy with the mullet? I'd be discriminating against his right to worship Bon Jovi. <laughs> So don't worry, you can always get us back on the other end when you sue us for job neglect, because either way, we can't win. Ah, Patrice! The problem is white people don't take pride in how boring they are. If, if they did, they wouldn't ask black people and Serbians to make everything they do watchable. Learn to recapture your love of being mediocre and your marginal physical ability. Some advice! <laughs> Some advice for you, crackers. The only thing you seem to really excel at is driving Y'all drive everything. Race cars, 18-wheelers, speedboats, motorcycles. And if those things start to become tired, fight that urge to integrate. Unless you want to see a in a monster truck. <laughs> That's a good visual. That's the show. Good night, everybody. Yeah, it's a very wild show, huh, Tim? Oh, boy. Could you explain uh, the Lynn Patrice magic? I just thought they should be the new honeymooners, those two. They'd be a great couple. They really have a connection. Tonight, you uh, you seem to refer to your uh, staff as liberal. Do you really feel you have a liberal? Uh, we've long had a problem, and it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to... Well, as we all know, all show business and media is liberal, because I'm in it, and we all know that's a fact, but... Uh,